see that it's come back. I used to be a gymnast for eight years. Yeah. Quick Kyoto stop. Made it to Raffles. The worst vlogger in the world. We just wrapped the shoe. <laughs> We're almost there. What the hell is going on? Guess who's back? Back again. The haze has returned. No. I'm just on our balcony good right now, but this is not good news. I thought after the 2015 haze, they were fining Indonesia. I might have this completely wrong. I thought I thought they were fining them if you know it was having this effect on Singapore anymore. Do you guys remember the 2015 haze? That was insane. That was the first year I moved to Singapore, and the haze was here for literally like three or four months really really stinks out here i shouldn't even be out here really inhaling this but i'm just so sad to see that it's come back like what is going on i'm up and in my gym gear this morning because i am gonna go to the gym with my friend katie to get our workout on saturday morning no it's not morning anymore is it yeah oh it is morning oh <laughs> And then I have a video to edit today. I've got lots of work to do this afternoon, even though it's a Saturday, but I always work on the weekend. So I take you to the gym with me. I don't really know what we're doing this morning. Probably some resistance stuff. I've really hurt my toe um, and I'm struggling to walk on it at the moment. Apparently the current air quality is 86, which they say is moderate. I would have to disagree. I don't think that that is moderate. I think it's pretty unhealthy. Already, just from being outside on that balcony for like two minutes, my nose is all bunged up. I feel like I need to sneeze. Do you feel like that, Jay? Yeah. Yeah, our noses feel really, it feels like when we're in Chiang Mai, burning season. It's the same feeling. This is not good. We're gonna get itchy eyes, snotty noses. It's not fun. Hi, Han. What are we doing then? So today we're going to do a high intensity uh, training session. We're going to start with um, a nice run to get the, the blood flowing around our body and um, start activating those muscles. Mm -hmm. So um, here we go. <laughs> Wait, what do you normally do? We do like 10 minutes. So we do 10 minutes, we put it on 15. Yeah. What we do is run for one minute. Oh, I thought it was a minute. Uh, 45 seconds. Okay. And then you jump Pop off. Inside. And you wait, so I can do a live demo for you. Yeah, let's do a live demo. Excellent. Oh, warm up those neck muscles. <laughs> Basically, you're elevating your heart rate, then you're letting your heart rate come back down again, and then you're repeating it. And you actually burn more calories that way. And you get your heart rate up. So let's go. Ugh. Look at this haze, by the way, guys. Outrageous. We've got a professional <laughs> on a night out. We have no idea how to use this machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, our plans are scuppered to work out here because it's so hazy. Look how hazy it is. It's disgusting. We shouldn't even really be out here. But we just did a very quick RX thing. I'm going to do another rope. A ponten, do you know what a ponten means? A ponten? Yeah, a ponten is how Singaporeans say out of 10. How would you rate the workout out of 10? Give it a solid 7. I'd say it could have been an 8 if it wasn't so hazy. I know, yeah. Like we weren't dripping in sweat, but we did a lot, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was more muscles. muscles. Yeah. yeah. We're building those heads. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty decent workout, which we came to Maple Tree Business Centre. This is Katie's local, so I joined her for today. Yeah, I'm going to head back home now. Um, got some editing to do, but good to get a gym session. Good job, Kate. Good job. So I'm just sitting here, minding my own business, editing my video. No, I haven't showered yet because I'm scum. All of a sudden, get a notification on my phone. Some joker has made an Instagram account called the Vintage Vision underscore belly button. Someone has made an account dedicated to my belly button. <laughs> to be a joke i'm so confused right now they're following 36 people and they're following a lot of 
famous English people. So I was like, okay, they have to be English. Then they started following my friend Katie, who I just went to the gym with. And then I was like, it has to be Katie. She must have made it because she's a prankster. She just FaceTimed me laughing her head off and was like, it's not me, it's not me. I don't believe her. I think it's her. Because they, they commented on her photo saying, what type of belly button do you have? Hashtag innie or like like me or hashtag outy georgia caney belly button her official little inny belly button fan account <laughs> i don't even know what to say what the hell is going on good morning guys <laughs> it's bright and early again i feel like my face is always puffy and my eyes are like Ugh. so right now i'm on my way to uh, navina medical center i'm back to the podiatrist because i have my one month insole review um, so they just want to kind of see how I'm doing with the insoles so last time I got them Lewis my podiatrist told me that my feet would ache a little while after using the insoles and it took about a week for me to get used to them but honestly now I can't even feel them in my shoes I don't even notice that they're there yeah we're just gonna do a check but hopefully everything's fine I think it is I'm really aching this morning from the gym me and Katie worked well, we did kind of like a full body workout yesterday, but we did a lot of legs. So my thighs and my glutes are absolutely killing me this morning. Um, I've got quite a busy day today. So after this appointment, I'm there meeting my photographer, T Lynn, and we are doing an Instagram shoot. There's a few spots we're gonna hit up today to shoot for the gram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, do go give me a follow at The Vintage Vision. I post lots of pretty photos <laughs> in Singapore and I update my stories there every day. So if I'm not on YouTube, I'm definitely on Instagram stories. I'll probably take you along for that shoot as well. It'll be fun. Show you some locations in Singapore. It's still hazy by the way. Haze update. It's still hazy. I don't think it's as bad as yesterday, but it's still pretty hazy. Hi. How are you? Yes, Lewis. So this is Lewis, my podiatrist. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, we've had her in so for one month now. Yeah, okay. I can't believe it's been a month already. Yeah. It's gone so fast. Good. But I've been walking every day in the, like every day in okay. soles and yeah. then going to the gym in these ones. Good, good, good. So, so you've been able to get fine. Perfect, perfect. So the insole looks good. Okay, of course the main reason, the main check for today is just to make sure you've been able to get used to the insole. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's fine. It's not rolling or anything like that, so fits well to the shoes. Great. Um, how have you found it? Has it been any sort of adjustment or a bit aching or has it been comfortable? Yeah, I think the first week when I was running on them, I was getting like achy calves. It took about a week. Yeah. My feet ached a little bit, but yeah. now okay. I can't even feel them in there. Once you get used to it, it will be fine and your comfort does actually increase as you get Definitely. It's like quite cushiony. Correct, it's nice. correct. So how have you been doing with your stretches? I know we talked about your stretching exercise mm -hmm. in your program. Definitely <laughs> try to stretch more like okay. ev after every workout. Yeah. Like I've consciously yeah. been trying to stretch Very my... Because I, guys, I can't even touch my toes. And I used to be a gymnast for eight years. Yeah. Like I used to be able to do splits, everything. And suddenly my legs have just locked up. As long as you can make a conscious effort to, to do stretch, your stretching. Yeah. Trying, I mean, it's easy to do. The hard part is actually doing it. And definitely. To do it. Yeah, no, I've definitely like consciously very good, been very trying good. to stretch more. Nice. So, uh, one thing I like to advise my patients is that instead of running every single day, better to the alternate days. So one day we do a jog, the next day we do maybe incline fast walking, something like that. You still get your heart going, so it'll help your cardio, but it's not so tiresome on your legs, repetitive running all the time. Yeah. Okay. Don't underestimate incline walking. Like I started doing incline walking a few months ago and it is a workout, like a proper sweaty workout. So race is coming up in a couple of weeks, okay? Well, best of luck. Thank Let you. me know how you get on yeah, and of course any problems you let me know. Perfect. All right. Thank take you, care. Lewis. Good luck. Hi, Miss Katie. May I have you acknowledge here for me, please? Yeah. See you in five months. That will be for a six month into review. Or you can pre book an appointment. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, I must be the only crazy girl that wears sunglasses on the MRT. So 
been that i feel like no one in singapore wears sunglasses <laughs> does anyone think the same thing like i hardly ever see anyone wearing sunglasses um but these are prescriptions so i just keep them on when i'm on the mrt but people probably think i'm crazy so i'm currently at bayfront and i'm about to get the mrt to marina bay to meet t lynn to do our shoot the first location of today is marina one so marina one is this new urban development at marina bay area and it's just so beautiful and so green i only discovered it a couple of weeks ago but i thought this would be the perfect place to shoot um, for instagram so we'll take you guys there now it's quite nice when it's empty So stop because we're hungry even though you ate five minutes ago um, I just got kaya butter toast <sighs> okay we've made it to raffles and we just shot out front of raffles hotel where's anderson style I was like it's all about the symmetry so stay tuned for my um, Instagram post coming up where you can see that shot but we've just um, discovered this beautiful blue fountain fountain out in the courtyard area so so pretty so we're going to shoot a couple of things here now but this hotel is just so dreamy okie dokie we just wrapped the shoot woohoo we um just did our last few shots on Ansiang hill and a few around chinatown for the lanterns yeah we covered a lot of ground we were just saying like we've been all over the place very very hot right now midday sun even though it's hazy still actually uploaded a blog post this week it's called 20 most in instagrammable spots in singapore so if you guys are interested in that and you want to shoot around singapore as well i'll leave it in the description so you can go check it out but um yeah gonna head back home now i'm making an omelet for lunch a smoked salmon omelet with spinach and cheese very very simple but very very tasty Okay, lunch is served. Smoked salmon, spinach, and cheese omelette. Now, ow. It's not what I intended to have for lunch today. I was just about to have my new obsession, which is mackerel in tomato sauce. Like, you can buy the little tins of mackerel in tomato sauce on toast. Now, that might sound disgusting to some people, but I swear to you, it is the nicest combination. Yeah, like, I used to have tuna and cheese on toast as a kid like tuna melts oh my god they're so good and so mackerel and toast is my new obsession long story short just got the bread out and it's gone moldy so i'm very disappointed about that so omelette it is today if you can see some like smoke going on it's my incense i just bought this incense on um etsy because i basically wanted to fill my house with the smell of barley so i literally googled barley incense found this and i absolutely love it it's really making our home smell nice Justin, I think, would disagree. He doesn't really like the smell of incense, but I have been loving it. So, I messed up again, guys. Basically, I feel like T Lynn is a curse. <laughs> Every time we have gone out to shoot, um, like, a behind the scenes of our Instagram um, days, always mess up the filming somehow. So, basically, when we got to Marina One, I vlogged, or at least I thought I was vlogging, showing you guys around it, ten telling you about it. And then I come to check the footage and I've not pressed record. And this has happened like three times when I've been with him. So I was just like, you're a natural curse. Or I'm just the worst vlogger in the world. So I'm really sorry that that bit was cut short and you didn't really see any of it. It's my bad. I, I messed up again. If you find the behind the scenes of the shoots interesting, do let me know if you want me to go like into more depth about like when we're out shooting because i think it's quite interesting because i get to show you the spots around singapore at the same time all right lunch is done i'm actually just going through the photos that t lynn sent me from the shoot there are 1600 photos that we took which is absolutely insane i think we took a lot more than usual but basically what i have to do is go through them all one by one pick out the ones that i like and then i have to narrow them down trust me it takes hours it is not a quick job and this is uh, an exclusive sneak peek of one of the photos. This is how I edit on Lightroom. So I use the Lightroom app to edit all my photos. 
This is um, the before and after edit that I've just done. And those of you that don't know, I actually sell my Instagram presets on my website. So I'll link them below for you if you want to check them out. Basically, it's just like a one-click edit. It makes editing so much easier. Also, the Lightroom mobile app is free, so you don't have to pay for that either. So yes, that is my editing process. I'm actually going to do, um, like I need to film a video in the next couple of weeks of how I edit my Instagram photos because a lot of you have been asking for an updated one. I will link my old one up in the iCars if you want to check it out. I think it's from last year or two years ago. Um, but I definitely need to do an updated one because like my editing style has changed. So yes, that is what I'm doing right now. But today is actually the big day, isn't it, my bae? Justin is getting his final surgery on his ankle. Here he is. Bless him. He has been fasting this morning. So he is super hangry. Not in the best mood, are you? I wait till 3 p.m. I know. His operation, we think, is about 3 p.m., is it? Got to check in 3 p.m., so it'll be shortly after that, I suppose. Just annoying that his surgery was late this afternoon because normally it's fine if you fast through the night, you don't need to eat, but if you're fasting in the day, it's really, really hard, especially if you haven't eaten since last night. But they told him he could have eaten this morning at 7 a.m., but he didn't. So he's extra hungry right now. It's got to go general, general anaesthetic. So put me under, put me to sleep. Yeah. To remove, to open the foot, remove the pins. Yeah. So finally. Hopefully they say the bone's healing. Yeah. And then hopefully we can start the next phase. We have. Learning to walk. Yeah. <laughs> All over again. So yeah, we're hoping that everything goes well this afternoon. I'm sure it will. I'm going to let him go by himself. Um, to get the surgery this afternoon, then he has to stay in hospital tonight. Yeah, one night. The surgery should be really like straightforward though, so yeah. I think it's quite a quick procedure. Just removing pins, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to go pick him up from the hospital tomorrow to bring you back home. Yeah, huh? We're going to be without my boy for the night. But yeah, we're almost there. It's like the home yeah. run now. Ugh. Feels like forever, it doesn't does. It does, it really feels like forever. But yeah, I'm going to wrap the vlog up here, guys. This evening, I'm meeting Katie and we're doing our first run around marina bay sands which i'm actually really nervous about i hope that i can do it do you know how what the distance is around there i think it's 7k seven k around the bay yeah so i'm going to end this vlog here and start the new vlog when i go running tonight so stay tuned for that also in the next vlog will be me collecting me the up. boy from the hospital yeah. so stay tuned for that guys thank you guys for watching as always remember to subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see you in the next one bye see ya.